Holy Wiremod here with tutorial 20 of the Lewis series and we're going to be taking a look at notifications. Now notifications can normally only be done on the client side, however I'm going to show you how to do it on both the client and the server side. So let's start by enabling a line of communication for the client and server and we'll use network strings for that. So we'll say util add network string and we're going to call this one notify. And remember to put a end here. I actually know what I'm going to do this in shared. Now you could put a function here. Um, I, I'll show you that to uh, prove that it works in server side. However, it's just as good to put it in shared.lurex. Actually, it's better because you now you can run it on both client and server. So that's very good to keep in mind here. So the arguments here are going to be player, string, duration, and the notification type. Okay, very simple. And we're going to be doing a check. Is done on the server and if so is the duration going to be greater than or equal to zero so we don't want any negative inputs that we're going to have else if is it on the client and then end it right here now if it's on the server we're going to need a net message so we're going to do net start and we're also going to do net send and we're going to be sending it to the player so this is going to bring it from the server to the client side so the information we're going to be writing is the arguments. So the first one we need to write is a string, which is going to be this. Then we're going to have, actually know it. Let's put notify type before string. And there we go. And we're lastly going to need an integer. So we have the notification type, the string, and an integer. The integer, of course, is going to be duration. And let's transfer it with 16 bits going over. All right, so on the client side, the notify type, we're going to be doing a check. Is the type going to be called error? If it is, then we'll do some stuff. First, we want to check if the notify type will be called generic. So put generic right here. And then, and so first off, if we want to put a uh, error message, so we can say notification, just like this add legacy and we're going to put the uh, first argument which is going to be the string then we're going to put notify error then we're going to put the duration all right and likewise we're going to put the same things here for generic except the enumeration is going to be the generic instead of error so the enumerations can be found on the wiki of course, like every other set of enumerations. Now we can also add sounds here, whatever we want, but I'm just going to keep it simple for you guys. And this is all you need for share.lua. Now on client side, we're going to need to receive the data, but I'm going to put it in shared right here, and we'll just put a condition if client. All right, then we'll say end, say net receive, and we'll say notify. And here's the function that we're going to be putting with notify and remember to end it. Okay, so we'll say local notify type is going to be equal to net write string. So this is why I put the notification type at the top here. So the second thing then that we're going to be uh, doing is we're going to be simply copy and pasting this so it's going to be a lot faster. And instead of these arguments here, I'm going to put another read string right here, and we're going to put read int, or this says write string. This should be read. All right. Read, 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 and int. We're going to copy and paste. Let's copy and paste the whole thing. All right, there we go. So what we're going to need then is to receive the number of bits, or specify how many bits we're receiving. This is going to be 16 bits and that's binary bits for those confused. I recommend watching prior tutorials if you're lost on that. Anyway, so this is all you're going to need. You can put it all in shared. Um, now, the last thing we're going to need to do is actually call the function somewhere. So let's take this and put it in to, let's say, the spawn. Okay, so we'll say when we spawn, or GM player spawn for those who are just joining along, and we're going to do it to the player. Uh, the string's going to be you spawned and duration will be five seconds and we're going to have the type generic okay likewise when we die I'm going to then say the same thing except we're going to put an error 
and we're going to say you are dead. So let's call it also on the client. So we'll say whenever we open the F4 menu, we can do that by going to net receive F4 menu. And whenever we press the F4 button, we'll say F4 menu open or toggled. How about that? Because it's also going to activate when it closes. So we'll do that. Now let's go in game and see how this all runs. All right, we are in game and there are a couple of errors, not too many. The first one is going to be right here on line 11 and share.lua. We need this section. The rest of it, I forgot to put the parentheses, of course. And we're going to have duration right here because that's what we're comparing this zero to. All right. So now everything should work just fine. So I'll kill myself. And as you can see, it says you've spawned and you're dead. So we see two different types of messages on the server side and on the client side. It says F4 menu toggled. Okay, so if you have any comments or questions about that, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And as always, if you like the material, feel free to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.